So what I'm working on today is wiring up an old AC slash furnace fan to use out in my garage while working out. This is pretty good. Um, they move a whole lot of air, obviously, because, you know, they're used to forcing all the air through the air ducts and everything in your house. I'm running them off 110 current, or 110 voltage, rather, not current. Uh, they're supposed to be run off 240. I've heard those can damage the motors. I don't really care. I got them for free. Who gives a crap? It moves a good amount of air, even if you run it off 110. As you can see, I've got one running here. It moves a pretty good amount of air that way. If you want to go through the hassle of wiring up a 240 plug for it, obviously it would run twice as fast or something along those lines. It would be significantly quicker doing it that way. But the way I feel, this is sufficient. So I'm just wiring them up like that. I've got this one that I've wired up. I've been using it about a year. People say that if you use lower current, it'll draw more, lower voltage, it'll draw more current and will burn the motor up. I mean, this is slightly warm to the touch, not very much at all, and I've been running it for over a year this way, and I've not had any issues. So I'm just going to keep doing it that way because, like I said, I got it for free. Who cares? So I've got that one wired, this one wired, I'm about to wire this one. So what you're going to need to do this is a plug. Make sure it has a ground because, obviously, this is metal. This casing is metal. If there becomes a short and you touch this metal, it's not going to be good. So you definitely want a ground on there. So you need... A cable, I'm going to solder all my connections, so if you're going to do that, you're going to need a soldering iron, some solder, some tinner, all that stuff. And obviously you're going to need an old fan, which is what I have here. The first thing I'm going to do is begin by removing all this crap out of the way. Um, undoing this, sorting out my wires, and figuring out how I need to wire this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, get all the wiring cleaned up. Okay, once you've got all your wires separated out and everything, um, the next thing you want to do is test wire your fan and see if you got everything wired correctly. Uh, what you're going to need to get this thing going, because obviously this is a DC fan running off of an AC current, you're going to need a DC AC rectifier circuit of some sort. In this case, it's going to be this capacitor here. This is 10 picofarad capacitor. You're going to run your two brown wires to that, the brown and the brown with the white stripe. Run that right to the capacitor. Run your ground to ground, your white coming off your fan, to the white here, your black coming off the fan to the black here. These extra wires here, from what I understand, are speed control wires. Um, those will not be used here. And the next thing you want to do is kind of stand back a little bit in case you got your wiring messed up. Plug it in. I already know this is wired properly. I tested it before doing this. But plug it in. One handed, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Boom. Fan's running. So the next thing you want to do is go back, clean everything up, get it looking right. You see how I soldered all these connections, uh, zip-tied the wires down so they didn't get pulled, 